Also, I think I want to address this and have some fun with it. I saw April address this person directly on Twitter. So I think it's fine that I address. There is uh there's a, now some people say that this guy's a stuttering John Sock account. Okay. Other people say it's actually one of John's like moderators or one of his most loyal fans. Uh, his name's Clamoring Carl. And I want to find old Clamoring Carl. There we go. There's Clamoring Carl. Uh, Clamoring Carl has this obsession with like my life. He, he doesn't like that we've, uh, you know, picked on John. He doesn't like that we've made jokes about him in the past. So old Clamoring Carl uh, has been going, check this out. Old Clamoring Carl, whether he's John or whether he's somebody else, has gotten so deep into Steel Toe uh, that he's actually digging into my divorce settlement. How far and back is he going? <laughs> this is like four years ago. Four or five years ago. He's going back into my divorce settlement and then posting things on Twitter about my divorce. And the more people respond to it with, yeah, I don't really give a shit. Uh, nobody really cares. People get divorced. It happens. He goes like deeper into the settlement. Oh my God. And then goes deeper and deeper into shit. Like, oh yeah, well, how about this? And then more people go, yeah, I don't, yeah, really I don't care. give a fuck. He goes, oh yeah, well, how about this? So this clamoring Carl guy has been tweeting for, I don't know about a week. It's been all about me. Jesus. Uh, well, me and muttering Jay. On Twitter, he wants to know who uh, Muttering Jay is. He's a stuttering, muttering prick. He's a stuttering, muttering prick. So he went into my divorce settlement. He found out how much I pay in child support. Okay. Uh, he found, which, by the way, did you know that if you have children and you get a divorce, you have to pay child support? That is groundbreaking news. Uh, he also like dug in deep, and he's like, Aaron left his wife while she was pregnant. No, that is not how that works, Clamoring Carl. Now, you see, there was a divorce. There was a separation. There was a pregnancy during that process, which is not leaving someone's way. When the other person wants out too, when you just go, let's get this the fuck out of here. Let's just be done. It's not exactly leaving someone. But I will say I am honored that you decided to dig. The I, I just want to kind of expose this person this is how deep they're willing to go just because I made fun of them. If it is stuttering John, it is kind of his MO where you bust his balls, you make fun of him, and then he goes, oh, oh yeah, I hope you die of cancer. Like it's, He doesn't have the ability to bust balls. He just goes all the way in. But so that he's using a fake account to do it now so he can right. what, play the, he I don't pay attention. Yeah, he blocked me on his regular account. So then he does this thing where he accuses April of being the reason that I got a divorce in the first place. Oh, boy, is he dumb. Oh. He goes, is April the reason why they got a divorce and Aaron left his family? Yeah. You know, it's really interesting. When I, uh, know. after the show today, Johnny, uh, and I go pick up the kids, I'm going to ask them uh, why I left my family. I could have asked them all weekend while they were here, you know, Friday through Sunday. Uh, but I guess I could ask them today, or the other couple of days this week while they're here, I could ask them why I left them. I'm excited to see what happens when he finally reaches Aaron in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, it keeps digging. So then it's backfiring on him terribly because everyone's responding by going, John, people get divorced. It happens. Nobody gives a fuck. It's not a big deal. And then he goes, uh, April is a home wrecker. April's the reason this guy left. Johnny was there. When my marriage ended, he was doing the show with me. Uh, you, you know who decided to blow up my marriage? You. This guy. That's who. I couldn't fucking take it anymore. And I got the fuck out of Dodge. I'm sorry, but I've told this story. Now, he doesn't know because he doesn't come from the radio days. Right. I've told this story on the radio numerous times. I was not allowed. And this is not, look. No good guy, no bad guy, whatever. I was not allowed to be a dad. I didn't get any input. I didn't get any say-so. I had no hand in raising my children. Uh, my children were sleeping with their mother, and I was, you know, downstairs living in my basement, basically. 
And so when a man feels neglected like that, when a man feels like there's like you're just roommates, basically, mm -hmm. um, I want it out. Yep. And, you know, Aaron, back in his uh, late 20s, early 30s, he had this way of getting out of things. Uh, instead of going, look, I want to get a divorce, and I want to get the fuck out of here, whatever. But you figure, you know, if you go and you, you, you fuck somebody else, boy, if you torch it down, if you burn the fucking bridge down, boy, they'll let you leave. And you know what? At first, they didn't. <laughs> so you, you really had to go for it. Stubborn Look, minks hung in there. That is a terrible way to do it. I, nobody should ever do it that way. It's a terrible way to behave. I'm not proud of that. But I did get out of the situation I wanted to be out of. I now get my kids 50% of the time, I get to actually have a hand in raising them. I, I get to, you know, April and I get to take them to the things we want to take them to. You married to the homewrecker. I then got to, uh, I got to marry April, which has been, which has saved my life, which has made me realize there's a new level of happy in the world. And it's allowed me to have the family I've always wanted to have. It's um, made so many other people angry. Which I tell April is may not be done growing yet. Well, we'll see. You're gonna have a kid. We'll wow. see what she says. Yeah, yeah we'll see. Hips. I think it work. So, like, I got to do all this cool shit. I got to do all this awesome stuff. And this poor bastard, clamoring Carl. All he can do is go on Twitter. He can dig. Th if it is John, he can dig through my divorce deal, my uh, divorce agreement, and he can go look what I found. That's five years old about him that he already told his audience about. It's like. Dude, if this is what you've got to do, if you're a comedian who can't be funny and bust balls and you're trying to do it this way, I don't know, man. I feel pretty fucking bad for you yet. I know you think you got dirt there, but it's really just a lump of shit. <laughs> it's really just a lump of shit. If you think the way you're telling the story is bad, wait until you hear the way I've told the story in the past. You think you make me look like a villain. <laughs> wait till you see my remake. Hey, John, Clamor and Carl. I'm the toe guy. So that I wanted to address him real quick today because I saw that April had uh, April had gotten uh, in touch with him. She left him a reply, and I know that. Uh, and, and I was gonna let this guy hang himself. I really was. Mm -hmm. But then he kind of brought April into it, and I'm like, you know what? We'll make this guy look like a dick. We'll take five minutes out of our show. We'll make him look like an idiot, and not when April's on. I don't want to make her have to defend herself from something that's such dog shit. Uh, Sir K says, Johnny can't outrun Aaron. Much easier to keep him locked in the basement. Uh, oh, April says, go ahead and read my reply. Oh, this could be fun. April having direct contact with a man who could or could not be John. I don't know if he is or not. I can't, I can't say. People say he is John. Uh, April said to Clamoring Carl, I'm flattered you keep suggesting that I might have been the lucky other woman, but alas, I was not. Sorry to take the sexiness out of it for you, John. But I wasn't even in the picture back then. Now, if you want to consider leaving your wife for me, we can talk. Oh, wait. Oh, because John's wife left him. Oh, April, that was cold-blooded. <laughs> that, was, that was remarkably cold-blooded. Yikes. Bravo. Woo. I will say this, John. Uh, I have a lot closer relationship with my children uh, post-divorce. Can you say the same thing? Well, it takes so long to get a word out with him. No, 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 clamoring Carl. No, let me let me ask you. Let me ask you, Carl. Let me let me ask you a serious question. You you can be introspective now. My divorce settlement is public record. You can go in, you can read it. I've gone deeper into my own divorce and my life after on my show because I'm an honest broadcaster than any court document can. But let me tell you a truth about myself, and you can follow it up with a truth about yourself, John. Or clamoring Carl, whoever clamoring Carl is. After I got divorced, I got to have a new and more involved relationship with my children. Did you? Or did your ex wife decide that you're a puke alcoholic who's not fit to be around his kids very much and you got as limited time as possible? And then did the way you fucking behaved create so much confusion and distress in your children? That one of them decided to change their entire... Ch you know what? I'll leave it there. Yeah. I'll leave it there. So, I would say, uh, what is it? Take the speck out of your own eye? 
before going for the plank in someone else's? In this case, I think that saying's reversed. You've got the plank, I've got the spec. But uh, I don't know. Clamoring Carl, if you are John, I would say when you're, uh, I, I would say the house he's in is made of glass. Mm -hmm. And you might want to put down that bag of stones. That's all I'm saying. Am I the only guy who's like, less time with my kids? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, I will say this as a parent, I have a great amount of time with my kids. I have the perfect amount. <laughs> Just perfect. Uh, Leprechaun Blood says, I will say you don't have to worry that you're losing hair. Oh, well, that's not very, why would you say something like that? Oh. Uh, P.A. Cheddar says, what does that say about a person's life when they pry into someone else's life? It means we got him. That's what it means. It means that we busted his balls, we beat him, and this is the best he can do. But how delicious is that? He's like, oh, I got dirt on his divorce. I'm going to drop this, and it's going to ruin his world. Yeah, I already talked about it, asshole. Yeah. Move on. Not only already talked about it, I've said way more than anything you could read in that fucking document. Oh. Uh... 